Hey dolls. You can see Rebel's cuddle clone right here just creeping and then this little husky and these other like plushies. Anyway, I got some news for y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna have a little series of vlogs coming out. It's just gonna be like maybe three different vlogs, possibly maybe four. Um, but I have a friend, a fellow YouTube friend, who I have been friends with for what, like three years now online? Something like that, I think. Um, <laughs> and what is happening is I have flown him up here and he is going to go skydiving with me because Alan doesn't meet the height and weight restrictions because you guys know he's like 6'4 and the very first time you skydive you have to be strapped to an instructor and if the weight or height balance is off it could throw everything off and you could pop a, p potentially die. So... <laughs> Plus, Alan hates flying in general, and he hates falling. Like, the rides at the fair where it goes up the drop zone, where you go up and then it drops you, he hates that ride. He hates the feeling in his stomach. So I knew that he wouldn't want to do the skydiving thing with me. So I contacted my friend, Vaughn. You guys might remember a collab I did with him a while back ago, and he had sent me a Prezi mail some time ago. Um, but he said it was totally cool if I vlogged him being up here and while skydiving and all of that stuff. So that is what is happening this weekend. Today it is September 21st, a Friday, and he was supposed to have already been here right the second. His plane was supposed to have gotten in about an hour ago. It is currently 10.20 p.m. His flight should have gotten in at 9.20 p.m. my time. He is flying in from the right above Texas. I don't know if he wants me to disclose his location, but he lives like in the middle of the United States and I'm totally on like the west coast above California and Oregon in that little bitty corner. Not a lot of people know where Washington state is, but we're tucked away up there. So he had to travel basically from like the, the, the Texas midpoint of the US to me. And so yeah, um, his flight got delayed but it was because there were, it wasn't because that they had like massive thunders and lightning and rainstorms there today where he lives. It was actually because the plane had like a defect or like a flawed part or like a part broke off of the plane or something like that. After it was landed, of course, nobody was killed or anything like that. But that is why his flight was delayed because they had to fly in a part to fix the plane from Denver. And so... They got the part, they fixed the plane, and his plane just took off from his city to Salt Lake City because that's going to be where his layover is or was supposed to be or whatever. And then uh, Salt Lake to Washington where I'm at. So he just got on the plane and it took off about half an hour ago. The flight is about two and a half hours. So by two and a half hours from now, he'll just then be landing in Salt Lake. And the, because his first flight, flight was delayed means that he couldn't get his second flight no matter what, because it was scheduled to where the second flight was only like an hour after the first flight has had landed. So there was like an only an hour layover in between. If you guys travel a lot, you totally know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, yeah, so he totally completely missed that flight because his first plane was delayed. So he will fly to Salt Lake. They're going to put him up in a hotel room and then he will fly out of Salt Lake tomorrow, Saturday the 22nd at 11 a.m., which will put him here around like noon or one o'clock in the afternoon. Now, we had our skydiving jumps reserved for 10 o'clock tomorrow morning but he ain't here so um i have to call the skydiving place the very first thing in the morning and hope and pray to lord jesus above that they have openings for sunday instead he is leaving on Tuesday, so he will be here, um, he was supposed to come in tonight, but he'll be here Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then leaving in the afternoon on Tuesday. So we had originally planned to go skydiving 
tomorrow, which is Saturday, and then go to the tattoo convention here and get tattoos on Sunday, which is also his birthday, the 23rd of September. And then we were just gonna hang out on Monday, maybe go take pictures in the park or whatever we wanted to do. And then he was gonna go home on Tuesday. But everything's basically kind of shifted a day, except the tattoo convention is ending on Sunday. It is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that is happening. I think it was happening today. I don't remember. It could just be Saturday and Sunday. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, so we might have to get our tattoos before we jump, or we might just say, screw the tattoo convention and just go to a tattoo shop and walk in and have them done. Cause they're so tiny, they're so little, they won't take that long at all. They're not even colored. So they shouldn't take too much work at all, if any. It'll take more time to fill out the paperwork than it will to actually get tattooed. So yeah, I'll probably do a separate vlog for skydiving, 100% for sure. And then I'll probably do a separate vlog for tattoos whenever we're gonna get that done. Um, and then I'll do just do some like normal vlogs, just like with him, like meeting him in person for the first time, picking him up at the airport, dropping him off at the airport when he has to go home, stuff like that, basically like what I did with my friend Tanya when she came up. So yeah, I'm basically just waiting. I'm gonna go to bed, wake up tomorrow, and hopefully, Everything will be okay, and I'll we'll be able to go pick him up, and yeah, we're gonna have a big brother watching party, like a show party with popcorn and drinks and stuff um, on Sunday, because that's actually his birthday, and he loves watching Big Brother just like me. So yeah, that's what's going on right now, and I'm sorry this was such like a little long intro thing. Um, but I just want to let you guys know that's probably what you guys are going to be seeing on my channel are these little vlogs. I know you guys have been missing them. I wanted to post these on my main channel instead of my vlog channel. Just because I haven't really been using my vlog channel that much. And I know more people watch this channel anyway. So, surprise, you get some Manda vlogs. Also, let me know in the comments down below if I should bring back Barbie vlogs. Do you guys miss those? Do you even know what I'm talking about? Were you around that long ago? Um, at least on my channel anyway. Uh, let me know down below. Uh, should I bring back Barbie vlogs? Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking and the next time you see me, hopefully I'll be on my way to the airport. All right, I'm with Mama. Hey guys! Mama 31409 and her troll butt. And we- oh, has got a hit too. <laughs> Goodness gracious. And we are on the way to the airport. We're like not even a block away to go pick up Fawn. He's here, finally. Now that it's noon, I think. Yeah. 12.15. He's only... He's only well, like 12 hours late. 15 12, hours late. Yeah, 15 hours late, but that's He's okay. Here. We got our skydive changed to tomorrow at 10 a.m. So it's just, everything's just pushed back a day, which is okay. Oh. <laughs> just sauced you. Yes, that truck just pooped on me or farted <laughs> on me or something. That was it's gross. a diesel. Okay, anyway, we're at the airport. So uh, check in with you guys in a second. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Yay! 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 Oh! It's not a video. <laughs> She's working on it. Hi, <laughs> He's here. Oh my God! I was like 18 million hours later. I know. <laughs> Look for the pink hair. Hi guys, I'm back. We're chilling. Um, I kind of just was hep up on having fun today and I just didn't really want to vlog what we were doing. So I figured I would do a little recap at the end of the day. Um, so basically we picked him up from the airport and then we finally. went out. Yeah, finally, after like 15 hours later. It was miserable. Okay, and then we went to uh, Mongolian because he's never had Mongolian food before. It was delicious. Yeah, and he didn't know that like they cook it in front of you and everything. Um, and then after that, we came home, he met the dogs. Which dog is your favorite? Tyrone, oh. Dolly, or Rebel? I thought it was gonna be Roni, but I think it's Rebel. Rebel's your favorite? Yay! Yeah. My dog wins. Oh, and my cuddle clone back here keeps tricking keeps him. Keeps tripping me out. Every time I see it, I think Rebel has jumped in the corner. <laughs> it's 
so funny. It's so accurate. It's it's so good. By the way, if you guys want to get your own cuddle cone plush, this video is not sponsored, but I do have a coupon code for you to get 10% off anything their website. It is in the description box below because I can't remember it off the top of my head. Anyway, cuddlecones.com, not sponsored. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> figure I put that plug in there. Um, I feel like James Charles right now. Use code James for 10% off. Okay, and then we went to the mall so that he could buy some clothes. And he found know. nothing, but I did. So I got the two items that I've been wanting for so long. Oh my gosh, I have to put the oh skirt back God. together. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> so there have been two items that I've been wanting from Hot Topic for quite some time, but I have been putting off getting them. So there is this pastel skirt. It is so cute. It's kind of like a denim material. It's a little bit thicker. Buttons down the front, little cute heart pockets, super pastel. This was on a rack along with some other dresses and rompers and skirts, and it was buy one, get one a dollar. So I bought this one at $32.90. And it is so cute. The only thing I don't like about it here, hold this camera so I can show them. <laughs> the only it. thing I don't like about this that I did not expect, and I did not check it in the store, but like I assumed that these buttons were for detail, <laughs> but um, it's just like easy access skirt, <laughs> which I'm kind of scared about. Um, so I might show, sew like the bottom ones shut or like, Super glue. Super glue or something because that is so sketchy and so scary. Definitely have to wear some spanks with these so everything isn't hanging out. And then the second thing that I got for a dollar is this sheer lavender dress. I have no idea what I'm going to wear this with. Who knows? I don't know. It'll look cute over a swimsuit in the summer, I guess. But other than that, I'm not really sure what I will pair it with. Leave suggestions. <laughs> yeah, leave suggestions down below. Would it look cute with like leggings or a bandeau or I don't know. I really don't know either. I don't know, <laughs> but I've just been wanting it because it's like me. But yeah, the only thing I can think of to pair it with like logically is over a swimsuit in the summer. So let me know down below. So I got both of those. And that was it. That was all we got at the mall. That was mm -hmm. not very exciting. But... I got to see your job. Oh yeah, you did get to see my job. That was cool. He went into my job, met my, my bosses. That was cool. And then... I beat you at oh, Monopoly. you tried the macarons. What did you feel about the macarons? You did not beat me at Monopoly. I did beat her. We will get there in a second. <laughs> no. What did you feel about the macarons? Delicious. Delicious. I think you're right. The... Which one? The cookie butter? The cookie butter. Yeah. So far, that's my favorite. It's definitely bad. You only tried two so far. I know, but I was really thinking Fruity Pebbles was just gonna blow it all out of the water. Favorite. But yeah, cookie butter, it's 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 really good. It's our best seller. Anyway, so after that, uh, we came back home and Alan came to visit after work and meet him. And as he came over here, we were starting to set up the Monopoly game. And we played Monopoly, and I kicked his butt just because he let me, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of true. Yeah, I was like, let's just end the game. Because <laughs> we have to go to bed. It's what, 1030 at night? And but to be fair, you did have really good pieces. That's right. Uh, I have a strategy. It made me bankrupt. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like when you play tic-tac-toe. You have to have a strategy, and once you have that strategy, you always win. Yeah. I was like wondering too, because she wasn't playing the entire time. I was like, why isn't she buying anything? And then all of a sudden she buys four pieces and I'm bankrupt. Yeah, like I wasn't buying anything. I wasn't buying anything. I wasn't buying anything. And then I dropped like four grand on castles and he was done. Like castles, hotels. We played the Milo Pony and I edition. owned like half the board. Yeah, he did. But he, he didn't put anything on him. And if he did, they were just like little houses. They weren't hotels. Cottages. So yeah, anyway, so that was fun. Anyway, we have to get to bed because we are going skydiving tomorrow. We got it rescheduled to 10 a.m. And I'm- It hasn't hit me. No, it's starting to slowly hit me. But like at this point, I'm so tired that I can't just like process, I guess. I'm tired of being in planes. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> I'm gonna be in five planes during this entire weekend. True. <laughs> Dang. Oh my gosh. Plus, it's my birthday. Oh yeah! Tomorrow. Yeah, duh! I said that in the vlog earlier, you guys know. Anyway, his birthday is gonna be tomorrow, so I don't know where we're gonna go out to eat tomorrow. I told him he gets to pick because it's my treat. But, yeah, we're gonna jump at 10. They said to be at the place, like, 
and expect four hours. So it, we might get out of there at like two and then it'd take an hour, hour and a half to get back home. I don't know where we're gonna go. We might eat out of town when we're there for dinner. I don't know. I think we're just gonna play it by... Play it by ear, yeah. see what happens, see what we're feeling. So we're kind of craving afterwards, if anything. I feel like my stomach's gonna be flopping so much that like, I'm gonna need like a couple hours to process what just happened before I eat something. See, I'm gonna need coffee, but I'm like, is that a smart decision? Like what if it makes me like want to throw up after jumping? Yeah, true. But they also say like, don't jump on an empty stomach because they don't need you passing out. Yeah. I mean, it's one thing to puke, but to fully pass out and become like, in co like, dead <laughs> while you're jumping that's horrifying you just go all limp on the on the people well i guess you're kind of limp anyway because you're like jumping into oblivion I but mean, at least someone's strapped to you true <laughs> and they're in charge of pulling the cord so but that would suck to jump and not remember like anything that happened yeah just like black out because you passed like it's out over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like they're waking you up on the ground and splashing water in your face and you're like what Anyway, we went to the mall and I stopped and got a quote for my tattoo and they said the minimum is $80. But I want to get my tattoo after the jump because it's kind of like a little stamp of accomplishment. I don't want to like get it beforehand and then jinx myself and then just not be able to jump because that would suck. So we're going to try and push our tattoos. Maybe we'll do them tomorrow after the jump once we get back, depending on how we feel. Maybe we'll do them Monday. I don't know. I don't even know if they're going to be open tomorrow. Are tattoo places open on Sundays? I don't think so. I feel like they're not here. So we'll probably have to push it to Monday. And then he leaves Tuesday in the afternoon, which still gives us like that full morning, afternoon time to hang out. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because I talked you guys' ear off and I thought I wasn't going to have any more content for this vlog. So <laughs> I was. I asked him. I was like, what should I say? What should I say? But it doesn't... It doesn't take a lot for me to take up some time. I mean, I guess we weren't thinking about filming because we were just too busy hanging out. Yeah, it was just like the initial day and also it's like we were kind of just like over the anticipation because it was like put off for so long. We're just like, oh gosh, oh gosh. And by the way, on his flight here from Salt Lake, they said that there was uh. another maintenance issue on the second plane. And they came over the intercom and they said, what did they say? They said, Oh, wait, they said your flight's delayed 45 minutes. We're not sure if we're going to be able to fix it, but we'll let you know. Thank God it was only delayed like 15 minutes. Yeah. So he was still here with by like noon. So, but yeah. What but after what happened on Friday, I was expecting the worst. Mm, yeah, So I was like, I was already stuck Because you Salt texted Lake me. City. You texted me and you were just like, Manda. And I'm like, please just say you just boarded. Please say you just boarded. I was like, you the flight's the delayed. Point. And I'm like, are you kidding me? No. Anyway, he's here. Yeah, we got it. It's okay. We're good. It's over. And uh, we're going to do this. And it's going to be so fun. And I can't wait to take you guys along. I didn't call and verify that I can vlog. So if anything, you guys will see footage of my face <laughs> hurling to its death on the ground. Which will be quite cool. They said that there is about 60, <laughs> 60 seconds of free fall and like four to five minutes after the parachute's been pulled. But what? Yeah, so you get like five, six minutes in the air. Okay. It's gonna feel like an eternity. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Longer than your flights. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was funny because he had to travel back in time because of the time change from Salt Lake to Washington. He was like he left there, he was supposed to leave there at like 11, and he was originally supposed to arrive at like 11.48, but the flight was actually an hour and 48 minutes instead of just 48 minutes. <laughs> so it felt like he went back in time, and that was the longest 48 minutes of his life. What else did I have to say? I'm gonna talk to you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I'm ready to go to bed. Same. <laughs> we had to take sleeping pills so that we can sleep. Because <laughs> if it's up to us, We've done this on FaceTime and we will literally stay up for like two or three days straight. Just yeah. like talking, just visiting, talking. hanging out, whatever. So yes, we're going to go check in with you tomorrow morning. We have to be up at, well, I have to be up at 6 a.m. Um, because it takes me a while to wake up and then get ready. But I don't think I'll take as much time to actually physically wake up because like drama and adrenaline. Right. 
<clears throat> the ride there is gonna seem like forever because it's like it's gonna take like an hour and a half to get there it's okay anyway i'll talk to you guys tomorrow sorry i talked your ear off this is like a 20 minute long vlog and i didn't even barely talk to you guys at all <laughs> like i didn't show you anything i mean like i just talked to your ear off sorry i'm excited i'm still on this like go get attitude but then again i'm just like exhausted so tomorrow is going to be more entertaining <sighs> yeah hopefully oh that's it what i was gonna, that's what i was gonna <laughs> say it was really windy here today so I am hoping and praying that it's not super windy there tomorrow. Anyway, yeah. I'll check in with you guys in the morning when we wake up and we get ready to go. Woo! All right, so until then. <gasps> do oh you want to do God. my outro? <laughs> Can I just mess this up? Okay, you <laughs> have to do it with one hand and then we have to like do it together. Oh my God. Okay. okay, are you ready? I don't know yep. if I'm going to do it right. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> you have to do it with the opposite hand. Okay, wait, this hand? Hold no, on, this is this hand. zoomed in? No, we're good. Okay, this ready? <laughs> one, okay. two, three. So, so long, long, stay strong, strong stay, stay true, true, and be you. you. <laughs> you are the <laughs> you are the first person to ever do my outro on my channel getting it perfectly perfect Woo! the first time so good job high five Woo! all right bye